Dr. Daryl Peel, our livestock marketing specialist, is here. Daryl, the fall calf marketing season is right around the corner. What are you seeing as we head into fall? Yeah, you know, it's a time of year we expect to see that fall run start here and we get through September and into October. Uh, seasonally, we expect larger volumes of calves, but of course, cattle numbers are down this year. Auction volumes in Oklahoma are running about 10% down this year. That actually quite a bit more than that, over 20% down since the middle of the year. Uh, so I expect to see a, a smaller calf run, even though we, we, we may go up on a week to week basis a little bit, but I think overall it'll be a, a smaller uh, calf run this, this fall. With that in mind, are we expected to see some of our typical patterns when it comes to prices? Well, you know, we haven't seen uh, seasonal patterns all year, really. We've had a tremendous run up in prices. Calf prices, of course, typically peak in the spring and they go th lower in the second half of the year to a fall low in, in that calf run in October, typically. Uh, we haven't seen any decrease in prices, uh, really, uh, through the summer, kind of flattened out. But the bottom line is I really don't expect to see much seasonal weakness in these prices. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see them actually move higher from here to, to the end of the year. What about cold cow markets? Cold cow markets, a similar story in many ways. Obviously, numbers are down again. Volumes, uh, particularly in the last few weeks of cull cows in Oklahoma auctions, have been down significantly. The prices are high uh, because numbers are down. And, and not only that, the, uh, the market for lean beef, processing beef that comes from those cull cows is very strong right now. Uh, so again, I don't know that I expect to see much seasonal weakness in these cull cow prices in the fall of the year. As we know, it's wheat planting time, always an exciting time of year. What are the prospects in terms of wheat pasture this fall? Well, from a production standpoint, we've kind of had some ups and downs. You know, we had rain earlier, good subsoil moisture. Then we got terribly hot and dry in late August, early September. Now we're getting some moisture again in some critical areas in the state. So I think there's some prospects for it from that standpoint. USDA actually said recently that we're slightly ahead of our planning progress for wheat in Oklahoma, about 10% so far, and it's normally about 5% at this point in the, in the fall. That said, you know, if we can get some wheat pasture, I think from a market standpoint, there will be some producers interested in, in wheat stockers this fall. Now, obviously prices are very high and the margins are a little tricky. So I guess my best advice is just to pencil carefully. It looks to me like when you take into account the futures market and possibilities for locking in some margin, that there is some potential there, but I think it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky and, and it requires some pretty careful evaluation. And gives us lots to talk about, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Carol, thanks a lot. You we'll bet. see you next time.